And welcome back. It's time for this week's Capital Report with Pat Bergerian of CapitalBeatOK.com. All right, Pat, Super Tuesday is practically upon us. Uh, early voting has already begun. So what do you expect in the respective party primaries? Well, what I expect is not necessarily uh, good news for uh, conservative Republicans in America. I have deep concern for the future of the country and of the Republican Party if, as expected, Donald Trump is the party nominee. It's reality TV meets presidential politics, and the time for that to be a source of amusement is long since over. Donald Trump would be the least distinguished and least qualified Republican nominee for president or vice president of the United States in my lifetime if he secures the nomination. He is not as well prepared to be president of the United States as any of his remaining opponents, including Ben Carson, the least political. Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, uh, Governor Kasich of Ohio, any of them would make a better representative of the Republican Party than Donald Trump. I expect, based on looking at the polling and my uh, instincts about the way these trends go, that Donald Trump is going to win on Tuesday in most states, perhaps even in Oklahoma, my home state. But as an eternal optimist, I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> I would love to be wrong in my punditry in this case. I hope that Rubio, who I have personally been inclined towards for some time, or any one of the remaining other candidates for the Republican nomination scores an upset. Now, not to neglect the Democrats. Yes, how about on the Democratic side? Yeah, what a horse race, and a bit surprising. Uh, whatever you want to say about uh, Bernie Sanders, I think his ideas are, are dangerous because they're socialist ideas. I think he's a decent human being personally, which is the way his colleagues in the Senate speak about him. He's an honest man, but in this case, I think his honesty would take us over the cliff financially. Uh, my suspicion is that with David Walters and a lot of other people who've worked so hard, that they'll be able to rally the Democratic base uh, for Hillary Clinton here, and she'll again prevail, as the Clintons have frequently in Democratic Party uh, competition here in Oklahoma. So that's how I think that one's going to go. All right. Well, we'll, we'll follow up on that. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, another big story this week. We had a settlement, finally, uh, in the uh, case involving the Nazi looted art, uh, the uh, the Pissarro painting uh, that was housed at a museum in Norman. Your quick thoughts on that? Well, very quickly, at long last, the University of Oklahoma has acknowledged that it held uh, uh, a valuable, historically important and significant piece of Impressionist art uh, that had been looted from the Meyer family of Paris, France, a Jewish family, by the National Socialist Party of Germany, the Nazis, during the Holocaust era. This uh, case has attracted attention in France, Israel, and across the world. Uh, in some cases, the, uh, at some aspects of the settlement are unprecedented. i have still baffled that President Bourne didn't make some kind of a settlement earlier. I must, I must say that Mike Reynolds, former state representative, and Paul Wesselhoff were real leaders on this. They led and their colleagues followed, and I salute the Oklahoma House of Representatives for taking a principled moral position here, and it looks like we have a happy ending. Well, you can read more about these and other topics at capitalbeatok.com. For Pat McGuigan, I'm Alex Cameron. Have a great day.